Hi guys, welcome back. Another little project on the go. I've got a load of new targets for the channel. So you've probably seen my Deadlines pellet trap. Now that's been in use a couple of months. It's doing pretty well. A bit scabby around the edges. I've left it out in the rain a few times. The plan is, I've got a load of these nice new 17 centimeter target cards. I've got some of my posh scraps of wood this time. We're gonna make up a similar lead lined pellet trap to suit these smaller cards. And we're also gonna give the larger one a bit of a clean up and a tidy up and make some feet for that to suit some of these nicer A4 cards. So I'm gonna get cracked on. We've got some lead to melt. We've got a bit of router work to do, but I think it's gonna work out pretty well. The first one that you've seen, been using that for a few months now, it works okay, but it's a little bit scruffy and there's a few things I want to tweak and I also want to see if I can put some legs on the new one. Got some fairly fancy stuff this time, another little baking tray for the lead lining at the back and we've got 21 mil coated birch ply, that's what we're gonna use for the main piece and then hopefully we can cut some legs out of this one. So I'll get the tools set up and we'll get stuck in. Right, because I'm limited for space, I've just lifted up the little bench dog on the top of the vise. That now should butt up against the there. That's up against the back wall. Right. Mm. That's pretty solid. Right, get the old route route. Hopefully you can see in here, I've got a template profiling bit. So we've got a three quarter inch wide flat bit and there's a large bearing on here. So that's gonna run around the inside of these guide boards I've stuck on. I've just zeroed up the router now. So the actual cutter itself is sat on the flat face there of the board. I'm just gonna add three millimeters to the depth stop. So we'll cut down to a depth of three mil. So that'll go through the top coating and then through the first ply, that will give us a nice little recess then that we can put the target into with some magnets in each corner. Then once we've done that, we'll come back with the jigsaw and cut a square out behind so the pellets can go clean through. So get my safety squints on, get this all set up and we'll cut that out.
Right, let's dry it. So next day, that's worked out pretty well. That's cleaned up quite nicely. We've got a little bit of the scum left in there, but that's fine. Strangely enough, the lead actually sticks to the baking tray very well, so you don't actually need to affix that in. Even with the other one, we've been using it for a few months, the lead's not broken out of the tray. So that will stay like that. Top board, I've just put some large headed screws in here, just cut the ends off so they're not protruding out the back. Now the larger heads of those will get a better bite on the magnets, just like that, and that will pinch the card in. Because this is coated ply, I need to give this a really good clean up on the edges. I need to put a little chamfer on all of those because it can get really sharp. So basically that's just going to sit. I want to make it so strong. Like that, we're going to flip it over in a second, screw the baking tray to the back of this, then I'm going to make some legs up. I just want a couple of little loose fitting legs that sit on either side now. The plan is to use this mostly in landscape, but occasionally we'll be using it in portrait if we use it a bit further out. And occasionally I'll also be clamping this lower edge in the work, mate, just to raise it up a little bit, especially when we're shooting down the yard. So yeah, let's get this flipped over, get it screwed on and get cracked on. Right, I've intentionally cut these slots just a little bit wider than the actual board itself. Plan is, is when I drop the board in, I want it to lean back just at a degree or two. Because of the weight of the lead lining on the back, it's got a funny balance point. So hopefully, cool, oh, that's pretty solid. Because the weight's at the back of this, it's lent back a degree or two. That's really quite nice and solid in there. I need to give these a really good clean up, get them on the old disc sander, clean all the woodwork up. I'm gonna oil all the edges with that. And then hopefully in the morning we can get out and test it. And I really wanna try some of the other targets out to see which of them look best on camera. So I'm gonna get some pictures when we're outside with all the different targets. And I really, it'd be nice if you can let me know which of the targets you prefer, which look best on camera, and which are easiest to determine how bad my shooting really is. So I'm gonna get this sanded up. I'll save you the boredom of that, and I'll catch up with you when we're outside and trying it out. Right, best laid plans and all that. It hasn't stopped raining for the last couple of days. I'll be honest, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's rock solid in them feet. Because of the weight on the back here, it locks in them legs really well. So I'm happy with those. Of course, I can just easily remove these if we want to stand it up. That's the target that I think is gonna look probably the best on film. We've got just a standard zero in target. Now we're gonna use a lot of these for the pellet testing going forward. So we've got the ability, we can compare all of them on the same targets. Bit of continuity will be nice. We've also got this one here, which is just black and red circles. This one would be quite good for pellet testing. 
And then of course we've got a couple of bench rest targets. Once we've got the XTI here and got that set up, we'll have a go at some bench rest targets, probably pushing that to 45 yards, which will be fun. So really happy with how that's turned out. Nice and solid, it'd be a nice little addition to the channel. So overall I'm happy, got the ump, it's raining, it's blowing the gale out there at the moment. So hopefully in the next couple of days, the weather will buck its ideas up and we can actually get out. So certainly not bad for some scraps. Really cool stuff coming up guys. So stay tuned in, we'll catch up with you in a couple of days when the weather's a bit nicer. I'll see you in the next one.